feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power, don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown yeah. Let's go I'm just telling you to fight for your dreams But it's not what it seems Man, it's hard to be seen when everybody wants to be king Yeah, they all wanna ring Yeah, we all wanna be free So show me what you got, what you bring How you fight in the ring How you take a f***ing swing Do you got heart? Are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs Are you willing to go leave? I swear to God, they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm f***ed off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce it's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown I swear to God they don't let me down some side hustle ideas and get your mind right? Have you ever considered side hustles but just don't know how to get started? Many craftsmen and craftswomen are badasses at their crafts, but business plans? That shit just freaks them the hell out. Many people who begin in boxing, MMA, or other fighting arts have to train their asses off just to get sponsors or even get a chance to fight for cash. That thing, whatever it is you do, can be themed into some sort of side hustle that may pump up them digits in your bank account. Do you understand what I'm saying? These ideas can pump up your bank account and keep that landlord off your back. Being broke ain't no joke. Me and Mr. Gene have no idea what you're good at. And I'm talking about like hobbies, things you like to do that you don't get paid for. Maybe we could transform that into some sort of side hustle. Even if fighting ain't your thing, you may love other sports like baseball, soccer, basketball, football, and even extreme sports like snowboarding and skateboarding. See if there are events or stores in your area that's themed around these things you already do. I don't know, you might even still ride BMX bikes, make a centerpiece for their events. See where I'm going with this? You don't even get paid for these activities because you love the shit out of this thing, obviously. Me and Mr. Gene's intent is to figure out a product that you can do or get some friends to help you do because you're already in the zone about that thing. And if you love that thing, it's so much easier to sell. Do you get it? Do you get what I'm saying? What product? can you do if you are 
Right now, hitting that bag, picturing it's your landlord. I get it. We get it. I'm not saying quit your dream or your current job. I'm just saying, have a friggin' side hustle, will ya? Let's remember the gladiators and gladiatrix way back in the day. These warrior fighters were strong, passionate athletes. They endured blood, sweat, and tears. They were tough as nails. They didn't go on to be 21-year-old life coaches. No, no, no. They really made tough-ass things like little centerpieces. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a bad pitch and sounded whack. But anyway, moving on. Entrepreneurs, craftsmen and craftswomen, artists, sculptors, those in the creative trade and business industry. We all know you can't steal second base and keep your foot on first. You gotta take some risk. You gotta see what you're made of. Like Bruce Lee once said, not trying is the crime. Knowledge is not enough. We must apply. Can we at least try to see how badass we are by building things with our hands and watch that bank account get pumped up too? Not trying is the crime. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all oh, And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? I'm myself wondering what has happened to the last ten. I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you.
Just because you're a badass at your craft, you still might need a little help selling these things and watch how I've been able to tap into unique markets by recycling my scrap materials into centerpieces and other small products. The choice is yours. This show and tell shop talk episode called Be Better Too, Fighters and Side Hustles. Just, 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 just give it a chance. It just may stimulate that inner designer and entrepreneur in you so you too can create something that you enjoy but also sells. Most importantly, help you pay the bills. I'm trying to give you a hand up, not a hand out. When I talk about things you enjoy, I mean like hobbies and interests that it is you do, that you don't get paid for, but you still love to do for some reason. Figure it out. Write it down. You got to mix these things up into a blender type thing. Hold on. Cut the tape. Excuse me. I got this giant... Jurassic chicken looking thing flapping in front of me. Maybe maybe it'll chill and relax a little bit so I can get back to uh, helping you with my shop talk. You editor guys, did you uh, unleash something out of some cage you weren't supposed to? These guys always do this to me. They, they want to see how I react under pressure. But anyway, back to the show. Don't pay attention to this flying chicken. If MMA... Boxing or other fighting arts ain't your thing. I get it. I'm not going to lecture you on what you should do. I'm just trying to share with you what I do. Fighting arts is what I love. I also love chess. I love punk rock, thrash metal, hip hop, Motown. I even love the philosophy of Bruce Lee. Not just his fighting skills. No, 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 no. I love his philosophy. But obviously, I also love woodworking and surface fabrication. So what I did was just figure out a way to mix these all up into my blender. This is my pump-up drink. And I'm just offering you a shot. You're going to have to create your own mixed pump-up drink, though. With all your ingredients, not mine, yours. Now, while you're watching this show and tell visual communication type thingy I made just simply picture yourself instead of me at these events with the things you like that you could come up with and try to figure out what kind of small product can you make based on your current skills or the potential skills you are going to achieve. You are already going to have a good time if you do this and go to these events. You will be meeting many potential customers who will see the happiness on your face. Know why? Because you're at a show at what you love. You are in the zone. It's your thing. I'm just trying to show and tell you what I did. What is it you want to do with your life for you? Nobody else. Brian. Get it. All right. You friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks to Pavel. At two minutes and 41 seconds into the first round. With your winner, by way of knockout. So much no problem, brother. We're Jersey brothers, man. Who gives a shit about anybody else? What do you want? What what just makes you look in the mirror and say, wow, I love doing what I do? And then transform that into a business is what I'm talking about. You have to believe you can do this. If you think you can or you think you can't, <laughs> no argument for me. I agree with you. If you don't think you can do it, just stay where you're at. But if you think you can, hey, I agree with you. If you're afraid to see what you're made of because you feel like you might make mistakes and fail, don't give up. Not trying at all is the crime. If you want to get into boxing or MMA, you do know you're going to get punched in the face, so, you know, a lot. 
especially in the beginning. Some bigger fists and some little ones. You're just gonna learn how to block better. You're gonna learn how to train better. Don't worry about the people in the stand. And envy crabs always try to pull us down. They're talking about you and throwing shade on you if you fail or make a mistake because if they talked about themselves, nobody will even listen. Yet they're boring. Don't worry about them. Feed their fuel to your fire. You can learn a lot from watching fighters go after their dreams. When you start out in business, you too will make mistakes. And yes, people will doubt your ambition only because they don't have any ambition in their damn selves. Why else would envy crabs throw shade on those people who go after their dreams? Not trying is the crime. Envy crabs really just illuminate their regrets for not going after their dreams or at least trying. They just are afraid they'll fail. So they never take a shot at the basket. This way they could say they never missed the basket. I get it. But you do you. We're gonna do us. Delete them people from your life if you could. Surround yourself with people on the same mission as you or somewhat like just understanding that you gotta do this and if it doesn't work, hey, you're gonna keep trying. It might make your inner circle of friends a little bit smaller, but so what? Wouldn't you rather have four quarters in your pocket than a hundred pennies? Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless in my pocket instead of a hundred pennies. I agree, cause too many envy crabs around us distract us from our goals. But anyway, do you guys know about Gordon Shotgun Shell? He gave Mr. Gene a challenge.